Ladies and gentlemen, MTGMD, that's me, and here we're back again. We're going to dive right in. It's the last video. It's what, 30? 30 minutes? 32 minutes? It took a while. So, without further ado, MTGMD, that's me. Box number two. We're hoping for good stuff. First box was bonkers. We loved it. Now we're shooting for more stuff. A little shake on the camera because of the table. Have you pulled anything good? Were you satisfied with your box? Did you love it? Was it amazing? So I'm under wake. Slither. Tandem. Certain. Ooh, skipping stuff. Crixus sleeve driver. Tampering. Vanquisher. That was a cool card. <gasps> Imperius Perfect. Hello. Boris Challenger. Melalilligan. Hurricane. Rock you like a hurricane. Green X Sorcery. Hurricane deals X damage to each creature we're flying in each player. Grave Crawler. The zombie dude, one black, creature zombie, two, one, can't block, cast it from your graveyard as long as you can control a zombie. And a ninth edition reprint, flying storm crow foil, one blue, one other. Seventh edition, one of those foil is, it's primo, primo. Still looking for the bomb, the om nom nom, mana crimped. Helix. So I haven't had a carpet of flowers. There's a lord. We'll put that over there. Pull it in the roll. That dude. A well wish here. Uh, we'll put it in oddball commons. Arbor Elf. Zorius Charm. Cool card. Serrated arrows. No Spine Dragon. Two red. Five other. Seven five. Coming out of Shadowmore. Flying. When it comes into play, you may discard your hand and draw cards equal to the damage dealt to target opponent this turn. Interesting. Urza's Rage, one red, two other, instant. Kicker, red and eight, can't be pondered by spells or abilities. Deal three damage to target creature or player. If you kicked it, ten damage instead. And Gilder, Baron. Two hybrid, green, blue, and one other. It's an oop. Creature, green, blue, hybrid, and two other. And untap for each counter on target permanent. Put another of those counters on that permanent. So double, double. The fun. Holy man, we just keep just keep doing that every video. It's like a rolling theme. No mythics yet, no foil rares, but we got plenty of time. Night, sky climber, call, file adventure, vampire, inquisition of Cosly. It's a nice little uncommon there. Blazing volley, scrapper, Blanchwood armor, old school, Azuri's art chairs. Fusion Elemental is such a neat looking card. I bet you in foil they'd just be priority. Too bad it doesn't have trample. Universal Solvent. Crenolated Wall? Sure. Aether Flux Reservoir coming out of Kaladesh 4 for an artifact. Whenever you cast a spell, you gain one life for each spell you've cast this turn. Pay 50 life. Throw 50 damage at somebody's face. Ooh, only. Well. Ravenous Trap. Two black, two other instant trap. If an opponent had three more, cre or excuse me, three more cards put in his or her graveyard from anywhere this turn, you may pay zero instead. Exile all cards from that graveyard. Uh, still, still no money hit, which is fine. Um, like I said, we did good on the first box. If you didn't see that video, go ahead and check it out. It was a lot of fun. Thunder, Savage Punch, Harrow. Shrewd Hatchling, Tectonic Edge, Weathered Wayfarer. That's a search dude. It's a one white, nobody cleric, one white. Tap searches your library for a land card, reveal it, and put it in your hand, then search your library. Play only if an opponent controls more lands than you do. Talran, Sky Summoner, two blue, two other, legendary creature. If you, Whenever you cast instant or sorcery, make a two two, a blue dude. And a foil rocks. That's the 10th edition symbol there. Two green, four other. You may have it deal damage to defending players, though it weren't blocked. So for a 5-5, five, five, one green, two other. Regenerate them. First foil rare. Nothing too exciting. It's got the old school feel, and, and that's the fun in that. Spirits. Oh, the spirits. Owl. Still looking for carpet flowers, demonic tutor, you know, lotus petal. Some of the, the stuff that could be... And not the rare slots and still be still be num num. Baleful Strix there. 
Sakashima, the imposter, a good reprint. Seeing a lot of play in EDH, two blue, two other, three, one. As it comes into play, you may have, uh, you may choose a creature in play. Notice the verbiage on that, choose. You're not actually targeting. If you do, it comes into play, a copy of that creature, except its name is still a Sakashima, the imposter. It's still legendary, and it gains two blue, two other, return this to its owner's hand at the end of turn. Cool card. Boom pile. Oh. Oh, you, you probably already saw it. It's okay. We'll get there. Four for an artifact. Tap, flip a coin. If you win the flip, destroy all non-land permanents. Toasty. Puzzle box. <gasps> yeah. Four for an artifact. Eighth edition reprint foil. At the beginning of each player's draw step, that player puts the cards in his or her hand on the bottom of his or her library in, the, in any order, then draws that many cards. Excellent card for if you have the Locust God. You just make a bunch of dudes. Or if you play Nizami, Nizami, what's that commander's name? Whenever your opponent draws a card, they lose a life, or a player draws a card. That's a deck thing. So that's a decent, decent foil rare to spell. Bile's falling over on the edge here. Dowsing Gloom, Recover, Blade Seeker, Dragon Egg, Hydra, Gift of Paradise, Rampager. Sapphire. There's a Rise of Redeem. Green White Hybrid. Legendary Creature. Green White Hybrid and 2. Tap. Put a 1 1 green and white elf warrior creature token in play. 2 of the Green White Hybrid and 4 other. Tap. For each creature token you control, put a token into play this copy of that creature. Excellent for a token deck. <gasps> Kiki Jiki! Combo piece. Check them out. Legendary creature haste. Tap. Put a token. That's a copy of target. Non legendary creature you control onto the battlefield. That token is haste. Sacrifice at the beginning of the next time. So cool. And a foil. Isamaro Hound of Conda foil. So if I'm not mistaken, that makes our second foil Isamaro. If only White Weenie were still a thing. So I haven't got through the first row. Seven minutes into the video. Got to pick up the pace. You guys got things to do. Places to be, packs to open, games to play. Expedite, expedite this process along. Desperate ravings, hood brawler, roots, Atlas spider, sandstone oracle. Cool. Release the ants. Coat of arms. Five artifact. Each creature gets plus one plus one for each other creature on the battlefield that shares at least one type with it. Changelings just make for fun times. And noggle bandit. Noggle. Nothing too special. Coat of arms, playable card. What do we want to see? Triplets, crypt, foils, things, raptors, goads, negates. Oh, bloodsucker. I'm working on little, uh, little loosey goosey here. Explosive vegetation. That's a playable card. Uncommon there. Crows and birds. We can play that. War gate. Search your library for a permanent with random cost X or less. Put it into play, then shuffle your library. So, Bant, blue, white, green, and X. Cool. Wheel of Fate. Each player discards his or her hand, then draws seven cards. Suspend for a red and one other. Suspend for four at that. Marrow. Oh, I guess we're just going to hit the, the green dudes. The green foils. Marrow is probably to say equal the number of cards in your hand. Two green and two other. Now, if only he made you draw, it'd be a little more useful. So, thus far, Kiki Jiki and Sakashima. Peace. Not not breaking the bank. They help pay for the box. Makes it feel a little more warranted. Market, I imagine, is going down right now. Lots of these boxes are being sold, ate up, drafted, people opening them because they're just that much fun. I hope you got in on it. Crop rotation. We like that. That's a good card. Cathodian. Goblin game. We saw that before. Two red, five other. Hide some objects. Uh, there's the text. I'm not going to go through that. Meandering, Tower Shell, Out of Cons, 2, Green, 3, Other, Island Walk, Turtle, 5, 9, when it attacks, Exile, it returns to the battlefield, under your control, tap to an attack in the beginning of the declare attacker step on your next turn. So phase in, phase out. Ooh, nom, 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 hello, hello, wow, Amulet of Vigor, Foil, 1 for World Week Reprint, whenever a permanent enters the battlefield, tapped and under your control, untap it. Yes! That's a nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. Oh. Now if only I played Amulet. Amulet Titan. I don't, so it's awesome trade fodder. 
It's a lovely card to pull. We're happy with that. See, we're hitting, we're hitting good stuff. Look at that. Look, Vigor, Puzzle Box. Oh, all kinds of format good stuff. All right, keep going. Keep the pace. Nothing started to the red tread. Return. We'll put that up there. It's, it's semi-playable. It's not horrible. Beast Breaker of Balagid. Formless Nurturing. Dragon Dude. Crusher Dude. Flame Shot Dude. Neato. What's that card? <gasps> What's blue? Mind Spring. Mm. Nah. Two blue X Sorcery Draw X cards. And Gorilla Tactics. That's that card. Neat foil. Kind of pretty. Moving on. Sadek, God's Willing, Leaving Distraction, Hieroglyphic Illumination, Null. Ten minutes in. Oh, where's where's the money mythic? Kiki Jiki's fine. It's, it's a card. Friar Horn's cool. Reclaim your finds. Rough Rider. Soul Eater. Barrier. Savage Knuckle Blade. I had high hopes for this dude just because he, look at all he does. Look at all this stuff. Teamer. Red. Blue. Green. 4-4. Four, four. Uh, you can pay some mana and give him plus two, plus two. Pay some more mana and bounce him and give him a red and give him haste. And Patron of the Moon. Two blue, five other legendary creature. Moonfolk offering. So five, four. You may play this card at any time you can play an instant by sacrificing a Moonfolk and paying the difference in mana cost between this and the sacrifice Moonfolk. Mana cost includes color, flying. Pay one, put up to two land cards from your hand into play tapped. Interesting. Interesting little foil there. I'll put that up top. Foil Mythics? Anybody? Foil Mythics? First box had them. Go check it out. Oh, Magpie thingy. Excellent. That card. Dinosaur Hunter. Predator. Cathartic Reunion. It was a really good card for a while. So useful. Oh. Oh. Stalking Tiger. Benalth. Lothnol. Infiltrator. Greater Gargadon. Spend for 10 for one red or pay red and nine other. Sacrifice an artifact creature or land. Remove a 10 counter from Greater Gargadon. Only if it's suspended. 9 7. Miss Direction. Exile a blue card from your hand rather than pay its mana cost. Change the target of spell with a single target or pay two blue and three other. Changeling Hero. Changeling Hero. Just got done talking about those Changeling dudes. I remember when these came out, the champion thing. Champion thing's pretty cool. There's combos in that if, if you know how to work them correctly. About halfway through the box. 12 minutes in. Doing much better this time than the last time. Sorry if I put you to sleep that time. We're just having so much fun. Slime. Deep freeze. Lay claim. Another card I had high hopes for because it seems like it'd be good. Shriek most playable. Burden. For those people saying lay claim. Well, how could that be good? It Muldrotha. Time to feed. I talk about EDH a lot. It's the main format I play. John is emissary. Good card sealed. Dismal. Yavimaya's Embrace. Two blue, green, five other control and trying to creature. Give it plus two, plus two, and trample. Trample. Tempt with Discovery. Fun card. Fun, fun card. Really, really ramp up. One green, three other. Basically, you search your library for your land card, put it on the battlefield. Then you, each opponent can do the same thing, and then for each opponent that does so, you get to do it another time. Short, sweet, and simple. Like this card. <sighs> Holy foily mythic giant freaking dude jund green red black four other legendary creature dragon flying haste nom 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 when karthus tyrant of jung comes into play gain control of all dragons then untap all dragons other dragon creatures uh you control have haste so uh there is or will be a secret layer video coming uh, i picked up the Kaleidoscope Killers, and I have interest to build the Dragons. Bing, bing, bing. This guy right here. And, well, not that one, the, the Ur Dragon, but this will go in it, obviously. Um, and maybe Slivers at some point in time. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't decided yet. They're both kind of fun. Dragons require just so much mana, right? Infest. Infestation. Um, yeah, just a lot of, lot of mana that goes into the Dragons, but... It, Maybe it'd be worth it. Maybe you can gate them into play. The gate cheaty card. Look into it. Another dragon. Another dragon. Look at that. Red, green, white. Three other legendary creature dragons. Six, six flying. When he deals combat damage to a player, pay uh, green and two other. If you do choose a color, then put a one, one green sapling creature token on the battle for e for each permanent of that color. For that. Wow. Chasm Skulker. 
One blue, two other. One, one. Whenever you draw a card, put a plus one, plus one counter on him. And then when he dies, create X, one, one blue squid creature tokens with Island Walk onto the battlefield. Uh, X equal to the number of plus one, plus one counters on him. Patron of the Moon. Didn't we have that before? Wasn't that a thing? Pretty sure I was back here. Patron of the Moon. We're just going to dig through cards like we do. Patron of the Moon. Where'd he go? Oh, how about that? It's right there. So, look at this. These boxes, I tell you, you just double up on foils all day. Trade binder galore. I'm telling you. Bump the candor again. I'm going massively insane. I'm going crazy. All right. Umbra. Oh, I haven't seen this one before. Cool. I like that Umbra. I might play that. Put it in the uncommon playables. Stack the pile. Okay. Big long neck dinosaur. Skate. Serpent. Oh, wonder. So we're not making oh death by dragons. Each player other than target player creates a fight. Well, that's just mean. Not making a lot of noise yet. But there's plenty of time. We still have an entire row to go. Plus one. Ethereal's got a passage. This guy. This guy. One black, one white, one other. Coming out of journey into next. Indestructible as long as your devotion to white and black is less than seven. Athreos isn't a creature. Whenever another creature you own dies, returns to your hand unless target opponent pays three life. He's a 5-4 dude. Cool. Acheron host. Horse. I, a, I know a guy that collects these things. Just because. Just out of funness, I guess. Four artifact creature horse. Defender enters the battlefield and opponent gains control of it at the beginning of your upkeep, which would be the opponent that controls it, obviously. Each opponent, so each other player, creates a 1 1 soldier creature token. Get the dudes! And Idol on a Rhetoric. Each player can't cast more than one spell each turn. So shut them down. Open up shop! Yo! Last pack in the second row. So we've hit three methods so far. It's okay. Plenty of time. Don't you worry. Good stuff coming. Skymarcher, Aspirant, Paladin. Condescend. Oh, that's just condescending. He looks like he's mad. You mad, bro? Castaway's Despair. Tom Hanks on an Island. Zealot. Goblin. Gremlins. Come on. Give me some num num num. Might of the Masses. Draconic. Dis 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 Crystal Chimes. Return all enchantment cards from Graveyard to Hand. Shh. Okay. <gasps> Look at it! Who made an appearance? Perforos, God of the Forge. One red, three other. The good Perforos. Eh, the new one's okay, whatever. We can argue later. Coming out of Theros, indestructible. As long as your devotion to red is less than five, he isn't a creature. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, Perforos deals two damage to each opponent. He's a 6 5 and one red and two other creatures you control. Get plus one O until end of turn. Cool! We'll follow it up with a Cranko, my boss. Two red, two other, three, three. Tap, create. X, 1-1 one, one red goblin creature tokens where X is the number of goblins you control. Meh. Lapse of certainty. Counter target spell. This is the card. This is the card. This, look, it's a white counter spell. If that spell is countered this way, put it on top of its owner's library instead of into the player's graveyard. Counter target spell for white. Yes, we like this card. We like, people, people never see that coming. Oh, he's playing white. I'm good to go. What's he going to do, pass it? No, I'm going to counter it, dude. We'll put it back on top of your deck. And then we'll exile it. Double up. Sentry. Slash. Coral. Coral. The Eldest Reborn. So a fun little curve. Gruesome Fate. Lava Mansa. Crash Through. Invoker. Farseek. Playable Common. The thing that makes lots of mana for X cost things. Simic Locket. <gasps> There it is. Bing! Love it. Lotus Petal. Yaw. Zero. Artifact. Sacrifice it. Add a mana to your mana pool. Excellent common slot. Hornet Nest. One green, two other. Defender. Zero, two. Whenever a dam... Excuse me. Whenever Hornet Nest is dealt damage, put that many one, one green insect creature tokens with flying and death touch on the battlefield. So, Chevy Meteor, make them indestructible. Get 13 of them. Yeah! Form of Z Dragon. All the dragon cards in this box. Three red, four other. At the beginning of your upkeep, form of the dragon deals five damage to target creature or player. At the end of each turn, your life total becomes five creatures without flying can't attack you. Interesting. Just throw a bunch of damage. Make yourself vulnerable. Pseudo moat. I'm going to keep pressing on. 
keep looking for those bomb nom noms. Lonesome Unicorn, Sunrise Seeker, Fender, Drake, Omnivore, Fill with Fright, Don't Turn Your Volume Up Too Quick, Seismic Shift, Dragon Whelp, All the Dragon Cards, Whelp, Take Down, Taking Down the Dragon, Elvish Warrior, Coin Oracle, Playable Common, Crumbling Necropolis to go, no, oh, oh, almost, almost three colors, still a playable uncommon, <gasps> Contagion Class, playable uncommon, Goblin Char Belcher, if you remember, oops, one land, maybe this, or, or Belcher deck, this was a deck, four, artifact, three, tap, reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a land, throw damage equal the number of non-land cards, reveal this way to target creature or player, if it was a mountain, deal double damage. So you basically build the deck with one red mana and you hope. And then that's it. Wow! Nom, 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 nom. There she is. The foil send triplets that we've been looking for. Oh, girl! One black, one blue, one white, two others. Sorry if I just woke your parents or the person next door. Holy crap! Nom, 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 nom. Three, three... Still can't believe we pulled it. Legendary artifact creature human wizard at the beginning of your upkeep. Choose target opponent. This turn, that player can't play spells or activate abilities and plays with his or her hand revealed. You can play land cards from that player's hand this turn. Control them. Look at this. Look at it. Oh, what is not to love? Oh, it's so good. Oh, foil mythics. Foil good mythics. Foil good cards. Another awesome box. Oh, so good. Money stuff. I Okay, fine. It's... Karthus is not a money rare. I get it. I get it. But how can you not like it? What's not to love? It's a foil mythic. It still makes you feel good. So you look at the price tag. But even then, you're just like, you know what? It's a foil mythic. I pulled it. Foil send triplets, ladies and gentlemen. It's the what's hot. Oh, what am I doing? Dark steel mutation. Good card if you play white. Basically shuts a dude down. You put it on their commander, the commander just sits there. Does nothing. Trample over it. Goblin Bartima, Fire Alma, Zenikar's Royal, Cobra. Now we're looking for Crypt, and we're looking for Tudor, and we're looking for Soren freaking Mark Markov. Mythic, three black, three other. Love it. Comes in with foil, four loyalty counters. It's Planeswalker. Plus two loyalty counters. Deal two damage to target creature or player, and you gain two life. Neg three, and EDH. We just love this. Target opponent's life total becomes ten. Ten! A quarter! 25% of what they start with! And then negative seven, you control target players next turn. Awesome! We've got a black market. Uh, two black, three other enchantment. Whenever a creature dies, put a charge counter on black market. At the beginning of your pre-combat main phase, add black to your mana pool for each charge counter on black market. Julio, Julio. <gasps> a second foil mythic. Look at this. Nom, 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 nom. Five artifact. If you lose the game, instead shuffle your hand, your graveyard, and all permanents you... Own, enter your library, then draw seven cards, and your life total becomes 20. It's a foil mythic. I don't care what you say. It's a foil mythic. Love it. Look at, look at, look at the love. Look at the luck on MTGMD. That's me's box opening here. Thanks for tuning in. You guys are awesome. Love this. This is so much fun. We should do this every day. But I'm not yet of money. Not yet, anyways. Hermit, guide. And what I mean by that is I'm hoping to hit the lotto. That's, that's the hope we do that we're going to do so many box openings it's crazy Saul first blast giant growth 23 minutes in still looking for a tutor mindstone's a good card dothy mind rapper dude thingy i've seen that before Psalm simulacrum sad robot 